How do you go from this? So the 47th Mr. Irrelevant, the San Francisco 49ers select Brock Purdy, a quarterback from Iowa State. To just in two years, this. And there it is. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. And yet still doesn't get the respect he deserves. Did Brock Purdy put all the criticism to bed with yesterday's performance? No. He's going to have to do it in the Super Bowl. Have to do it in the Super Bowl. Let's find out. Born on December 27, 1999 in Queen Creek, Arizona, Brock knew from an early age what he wanted to do in life. He grew up surrounded by sports with his father's background as a professional baseball player. As a young athlete, Purdy had the option to follow his father's footsteps. However, despite the initial inclination towards baseball, Purdy's fascination with football took root around the age of five, sparked by watching Tim Tebow and the Florida Gators and his dad's personal favorite, Dan Marino. So, for Purdy, it was no question. He was a quarterback. He would learn to throw a football from his dad and would adopt Marino's quick release. Brock would even choose the iconic number 13 for his jersey as a symbolic nod to the quarterback he aimed to be. He would go on and play high school ball for Perry High School, where he set several state records and led his team to two state championship games. He was known throughout campus for being a great person. I mean, we're talking cafeteria workers, um, custodians, security guards. They all knew Brock and they all loved Brock because of what he did. Despite his impressive stats and being a three-star recruit, he wasn't heavily recruited by major college programs, having only received offers from a few schools one being Iowa State, where he decided to enroll. For the next four years of my career, I'll be continuing my academic and athletic career at Iowa State University. At Iowa State, Purdy quickly established himself as the starting quarterback and one of the best players in the Big 12 Conference. He would end his collegiate career with the most wins of any quarterback in Iowa State history, leading the program to a 30-17 record and its first quarterback to take the Cyclones to four straight bowl games. However, Purdy's college success did not translate into a high draft stock. He was widely considered as a late round prospect with questions about his size, arm strength, and level of competition. Ultimately, the 2022 NFL Draft would come and we kind of all know what happens next. So the 47th Mr. Irrelevant, the San Francisco 49ers select Brock Purdy, a quarterback from Iowa State. Hey, buddy, this is John Lynch from the 49ers. Yes, sir, how you I'm, doing? I'm sorry it took till the end. Uh, we find you very relevant, but you are going to be Mr. Irrelevant. Yes, sir. All right, man, so yes, we're sir. thrilled to have yeah. you part of us, okay? Yes, and, sir, uh, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Mr. Irrelevant. For those of you who don't really know what that means, it's the title given to the very last player selected in the NFL draft. Just for some context, most players drafted with the very last draft pick don't really go on to complete storied or notable careers. Often, a player chosen with this pick is released from the team that drafted them before preseason or training camp even begins. So, it was safe to say that Brock's NFL career was going to be very much an uphill battle. Fortunately, Brock would make the 53-man roster his rookie season and become the third-string quarterback behind then-starter Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo. That is, until week 13. Play clock down to two. They get it off. Garoppolo in trouble, and he is sacked. That thing doomed from the start. Jerome Baker on the blitz, gets home, and it's fourth down. Yeah, well, I got worse news. Jimmy Garoppolo's on the cart, headed for the locker room right in front of you there. Wow, Jimmy is being carted off the field. So now it'll be Brock Purdy, the last pick of the draft. Pick number three with uh, Debo next to him, and Ayuk, he's going to throw out right. Wide open, Kyle Juszczyk. Touchdown! San Francisco, Mr. Relevant, hits Kyle Juszczyk with a touchdown. Brock played well and finished the game completing 25 of 37 passes for 210 yards and one interception in the 33-17 win and would become the first mystery relevant to throw a touchdown pass in a regular season game. Following Garoppolo's injury, Brock would be named the 49ers starting quarterback for the remainder of that 2022 season. And the rest is history. 30. Back to throw. Pressure coming. Steps away. Looking to run. And he walks it in for the touchdown. What's coming? Purdy. Lofting. Going deep. Has McCaffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, San Francisco. They're chanting Purdy, by the way. 
Brock Purdy chance in Santa Clara. I feel like I'm in a scene of Rudy. Brock would have continued to play well and help the 49ers clinch the NFC West division title and secure the second seed in the NFC playoff. The 49ers have won seven in a row and they get to 10 and four on the year. I know year. everyone battled in here. I know how physical and how much we heard last Sunday. I know how hard it was for you guys to get to here and to play like that. All right, the guys who went down in the game came in, but also we got to give up to our quarterback, man. In the wild card round, Purdy faced the Seattle Seahawks, led by veteran quarterback Geno Smith. Brock would become the first 49ers rookie quarterback to start and win a playoff game while putting him 6-0 in career starts. In the game, he completed 18 of 30 passes for 332 yards and scored four total touchdowns, the most by a rookie quarterback in a playoff game. He also became the lowest drafted quarterback to start and win a playoff game and became the first rookie quarterback since Sammy Ball in 1937 to have at least 200 pass yards and two pass scores in a playoff win, making him the first rookie quarterback to do so since the AFL-NFL merger. Next was Dallas. Man, is this going to be fun? Stars all over the field. We start with the 49ers, Greg. They're red hot. They've won 11 in a row. The last six have been with rookie quarterback Brock Purdy. The crazy thing is, since he's played, they're better with him on offense. The reality here in San Francisco, the 49ers are not winning in spite of Brock Purdy. Oftentimes, they're winning because of Brock Purdy. McCaffrey right up the gun and in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Final play, it looks like barring a penalty. Prescott over the middle of the turret. Gets smoked right away. And that'll do it. The 49ers back to the championship game. With the victory over the Cowboys, Purdy became the third quarterback since 1970 to win two playoff games in his rookie season. Although throwing no touchdowns in the game, Purdy completed 19 of 29 passes for 214 yards, which also made him the first rookie quarterback since 1970 to throw for over 200 yards in consecutive NFL postseason games. However, things would take a turn in the NFC Championship game against the Eagles. Out of fake pressure coming, Purdy, deck floating in the air, it is, is it picked? No, hit the ground. During the first quarter, Brock suffered an injury to his right elbow. Purdy would re-enter the game, though he would only throw two more passes. The 49ers would go on to lose 31-7. Purdy would later be diagnosed with a complete tear in his UCL, which rendered him unable to throw the ball more than 10 yards. The season's been over for 24 hours, and it's already time to ask, who's going to be the starting quarterback next season? Purdy is expected to undergo surgery. That'll determine his timeline to return. Six months would mean Purdy would miss the entire offseason program, would clear him in August, just after training camp begins. It would also open the door for Trey Lance to reclaim the starting job. One problem, Lance is still rehabbing from a broken ankle. Or they could look to bring someone in from the outside, a dark horse, like maybe a certain seven-time Super Bowl champ from San Mateo who will be a free agent. But then the question becomes, what do you do with Brock Purdy? He destroyed Tom Brady last year. Is Trey not going to dress? You have a lot of moving parts right now with the 49ers quarterback situation, so it should be an entertaining offseason in that regard. After a successful recovery from injury, Purdy will be named the starting quarterback for the upcoming season, beating out former starter Trey Lance and Sam Darnold. Having a year down under Shanahan's system, Brock and the 49ers will continue their dominance of the NFC all the way back to the top. Purdy completed the regular season leading the league in passer rating, total quarterback rating, and yards gained per attempt. With the bye in the first round of the playoffs, the Niners will play a hot Jordan Love and Green Bay Packers. Head coach Kyle Shanahan told us we have a thousand scars. Continue to do what we've done all year long. I have a good feeling where we'll end up. Brock would struggle with his accuracy in the rainy conditions as the 49ers trailed entering the fourth quarter. Despite his struggles, Purdy engineered a 12-play 69-yard drive that culminated with Christian McCaffrey scoring a go-ahead touchdown with under two minutes left as the 49ers won 24 to 21. Purdy inside the 10 and diving near the six. They're going to put him down at the five and right near a first down. McCaffrey. McCaffrey scores. 49ers in front. Love. Pressure up the middle. Runs away. Throws across his body. And that is picked. 49ers have it, Greenlaw, still up, 
He needs to get down. Greenlaw's still on his feet. He's got to go down. Just go down and the game's over. San Francisco takes over. In the NFC Championship game, Purdy faced the Detroit Lions. Purdy had another stellar performance, throwing for 332 yards and four touchdowns with one interception. And there it is. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. Purdy's remarkable rise from obscurity to stardom has drawn comparisons to another quarterback who was drafted in the sixth round and became a Super Bowl champion. Brady, who retired after the 2022 season, is widely regarded as the greatest quarterback of all time. He won seven Super Bowls, five Super Bowl MVPs, three NFL MVPs, and numerous other accolades. He also holds the NFL records for most career passing yards, touchdowns, and wins. Hurdy and Brady have similarities in their stories. Both were overlooked coming out of college, both had to wait for the opportunity to start, and both proved their doubters wrong with their clutch performance and leadership skills. However, Brock has a long way to go before he can match Tom's legacy. But he's already made history as the first Mr. Irrelevant to start in a Super Bowl as he set to face the Kansas City Chiefs, led by Patrick Mahomes, the reigning Super Bowl MVP and the best quarterback in the league today. Brock will have to overcome the odds once again, but regardless of the outcome, I think Mr. Irrelevant is a lot more relevant than ever before.